Guys, I got a new bump pan mold. It's a silicone mold. Let's make some jello. So we're gonna start by boiling some water. I'm gonna do four cups. So I got two right here. And two more. And we'll get this over on the stove. Now for the cool part. We're gonna add some canned fruit to this. Growing up, my mom always used to make this. She would put the canned fruit cocktail right in, or she would lay in some peaches and put those in. I'm gonna do them both, so let me show you how. Let's get this thing opened up. We're gonna drain out all that sugary water. strain out our fruit cocktail and guys I'm not kidding it looks like they gave me one cherry I'm gonna check guys three cherries one two three and one little sliver I guess we're skimping on the cherries these days so the first thing we're gonna do, we're gonna take our mold, and I'm gonna try to line these peaches up around the bottom. Then I'm gonna sprinkle on the fruit cocktail on top of that. Then we'll pour the jello on top of that. It might get all mixed around, it doesn't matter. When it's all done, it's gonna be cool either way, but I'm gonna try to make it look kind of pretty. So here we go, let's start getting the peaches in here. So guys, this bump pan has these little slots, so I'm doing the peaches in every other one. That way the fruit cocktail can go in every other one also. And then guess what? I'm throwing in some extra cherries, yeah. You have to. So now my water is ready. And I'm going to make this jello. So I'm going to throw two packets in. We're just going to give this a nice stir, get it all mixed up, let that stuff dissolve. Use the boiling water to dissolve your jello. And then you're going to add a couple cups of cold water into there. It's going to bring it down to temperature so you can pour it into whatever mold you're using. Of course, today I'm doing the bunt pan full of all the fruit. So this looks just about ready. We're going to get our cold water and pour it in there. That's going to cool it off. I'm realizing about now I should have used a bigger pan, but that's okay. I'm just going to go real slow. Be real careful. Give that a little stir. Just be sure it's nice and mixed. Then it's time to fill up my bump pan. So I'm going to go real easy here. I don't want to disturb any of that fruit on the bottom. Just put one little scoop in there at a time. Scoop number two and scoop number three. I'm being really gentle. Suddenly I start seeing a couple little pieces of the fruit cocktail float around and I'm a little bit nervous about what's gonna happen. And then all of a sudden it happens, guys. The peaches come floating to the top. Oh, well, that's no deal breaker, it's all right. So it may not be as pretty as I want it to be, but it's still gonna be totally full of flavor and exactly what I want it to uh, in terms of taste-wise. So we're gonna go ahead and clean up the edge, put some plastic on this and throw it in the fridge overnight. I cannot wait to see the reveal tomorrow. So say good night, guys. And we will see you in the morning. Good morning. All right, time to unveil this thing. So I pull that plastic off and I'm just gonna get a plate. We're gonna put it on and then we're gonna invert this thing. So we think we're all good. We give it the old flipperoo, throw it down on the cutting board and we pull that silicone off and well, uh-oh, it ain't coming out. All right, so I'm gonna have to give a little slam here. Kaboom. See if we can get it to force its way out. And, well, it didn't exactly come out the way I wanted it to, which is okay. You know, this happens. It's the first time I used this silicone thing, and I thought it would be kind of non-stick. Maybe I'm wrong. So I'm just going to scoop the rest of it onto this pan, and I'll tell you what. When I gave it a little taste, it was actually really, really good. Super refreshing, man. What a treat. Maybe next time I'll just line it with some plastic wrap or like warm the outside edge with a little water and see if that gets it to release. That was really good. I'll figure out a better way next time. Thanks for watching. Cheers, everyone.